We're here in Taiwan to take on the longest, hardest and highest hill climb race in the world, the Taiwan KOM Challenge. 83 kilometers uphill from sea level to 3,275 meters. That is nearly 11,000 feet higher than the highest mountain in Germany, nearly a kilometer higher than the highest point of the Tour de France this year, and that's the thing, at that kind of altitude, most of us lose 30% of the power that we can produce. Meaning, well, unless you're a Sherpa. I'm really excited to give this incredible event a go. Ever since I saw Cy and Matt ride it back in 2017, I wanted to come here and have a go for myself. That year, Vincenzo Nibali and Emma Pooley won it, and the race attracts top-level pros as well as amateurs. This year, we've got Simon Yates. Today is the day before the race. I've got my bike here um, that I'm going to be riding on. It's this sweet Trigon AR01. Um, big thanks to Trigon for the frame, but also Rota for the power meter and elite wheels, because it's through their support that we've actually been able to come out here and make a video, because it requires like quite a bit of resource for us to do that. Um, so big thanks to, to all those guys. I've got a full rundown on the tech channel of my setup and some other weight saving mods that I've made to this bike to keep the weight down and make it as light as possible. Spoiler alert, it's not much. But if you want to find out exactly how much, you've got to head over to the tech channel, haven't you? I'm super excited to ride this event. Not just because riding up mountains and like, that's my favorite thing, but also because Taiwan is absolutely mega. I feel it's not on a lot of cyclists' radar, but like there's tropical forests here and an incredible coastline and these huge mountains and gorges and just so much cool wildlife and, and nature that I'm just not used to. It's like nowhere else I've ever ridden my bike before. And I just, yeah, I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. Got my number, 384, and I've signed on. Um, gonna have a briefing now. Just been getting my kit ready um, for tomorrow because it's a proper early start. So the race starts at 6 a.m. I've got some strategies, right? So I've got um, beta fuel. I'm gonna put one of those in each of my bottles. That's 80 grams of carbs in each bottle. And then I've got beta fuel jellies because I really like those, 40 grams in each of those. So I'll just put those in my pocket and that'll help me sort of have around 120 grams of carbs an hour. Because of the sweat though and the electrolytes of the old isotonic gel and um, well when it gets really hard at the end a little caffeine hit caffeine gel also thinking about pacing a um, bit of a tricky one this so I'm, I'm glad I've got the the rotor power meter because that's going to be crucial um, in, in pacing this event and sticking to within what I can do because there is going to be a temptation to go off with the faster people at the start although I, it's, it's a hard one to, to weigh up because on the one hand you don't want to overextend yourself so that you're screwed at the end of the race but there is a big drafting benefit I've, I've been told uh, in the earlier half of the race so it's kind of weighing up how hard you go to get the draft benefit versus when you drop off and just go at your own pace I guess I'm just gonna have to find out and, um, and wing it right better get some sleep It's about half past five in the morning. Um, the race sets off at six o'clock and there's about a thousand people doing it today. Massive. Um, I feel a little bit nervous. Uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be by far the biggest climb I've ever done in my entire life. The route starts in the coastal town of Hua Lien on the east coast of the island. The opening 20 kilometers is flat along the coastline and is neutralized before the official timing and the climb begins. 
In this section, I was concentrating on maintaining position at the front of a massive peloton and watching out for other riders as there was a bit of a washing machine effect. Just coming to the end of the neutralized section. About 32k in now, and we've started the ascent, and the pace has ramped up quite a bit. I'd imagine a fair few have probably fallen off now, but yeah, they say it's not as fast as previous years, though. No. There's a long way to go, and it's so humid in this gorge. But this gorge is absolutely stunning. There's granite and marble cliffs, and it's just, it's a geography teacher's dream. There's Simon Yates just there. This is the front of the race. No idea what's going on behind. But I think this is gonna push on and get quite tasty soon. At which point I'll probably do my own thing. We're about 50k in now. How amazing is this? It's, it's just unbelievable. I've never ridden anywhere like this. It's in this jungle and forest. So beautiful. But uh, just had the first speed stop and then Simon Yates danced off up the climb with a select group. Um, I, <laughs> rather than try and stick with that pace, considering everyone says the last 10k is the hardest, I'm riding at my own pace. I felt like I could have ridden really hard and just about stayed with the leaders, but I was worried that I would have overextended myself and I'd pay for it later on. We still had 40 kilometers to go. Fortunately, I found myself in the second group on the road and there were some strong guys that I could draft behind. One of the locals was telling me that there's trees up here that are 3,000 years old, which is nuts. I mean, that's older than Jesus and the Romans. Crazy. The scenery was changing from the dramatic Taroko Gorge now to lush forest and mountains. I was making a big effort to ride within myself around 260 watts because everyone I'd spoken to had said the same thing. The last 10K is the hardest. A max gradient of 27%, an altitude over 3,000 meters. I was determined to save something. Just before you reach the final 10K, there's actually a little 3K reprieve downhill, and then the final test begins. Just done a little descent, and uh, we've just come off that, which tells me now we've got about 15K to the finish, and still got loads of climbing to do, over a thousand meters. Really feel the altitude now. We're only doing 240 watts. I'm blowing. Got six and a half k to go. Come on. I was struggling for air, but my pacing strategy did seem to be working in that I was slowly catching and passing people. In my head, I'd set myself a target of sub four hours, and looking at my Wahoo it was gonna be right to the wire.
over 3,000 meters here, three and a half K to go. The altitude is something else. You know, I'm only doing three and like 220 watts right now and it, oh, it feels like I'm doing threshold. The final section sees the scenery change again as you go above the tree line. It is truly spectacular here. Last K. Good job. Good job, good job, sir. Hey. Oh, that was horrendous. Oh, the ride. <laughs> oh, so hard. So hard. Like, you're pacing it and you, you're taking it easy, like for the first sort of three hours, well, three hours, and you think, yeah, this is going to be all right. I'm going to be able to really push on. And then you get to the sort of 3,000 meters, and it's Steep, so, so steep and just the altitude is makes it really hard but i would say oh if you fancy coming and having a go at this like absolutely do it we've got the, the finish line behind us although the clouds coming in now um what an amazing event that was. Oh, I had such a good time, but it was really hard, especially that last like 10K. When you, when you get to sort of above 2,800 meters up to the top here, oh, it is so hard, so hard. But yeah, if, well, just put it on your cycling bucket list. You've got to experience it and, and give it a go. It's, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal event. Um, and I'm actually at the results. So I'm, re I'm really pleased with this. I've, I've managed to come 27th overall. Um, out of about a thousand people and um, most importantly I got under four hours which people say is good and did 356 and that and this is the important part is quicker than Sai who, who did it in four hours 11 minutes yes so if you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching me suffer at high altitude um, then please give it a thumbs up and um, share it with your friends if you've got any. And a big thanks to Trigon um, for the, uh, the awesome AR uh, one bike and elite wheels and for the road to power meter. Never skipped a beat, all absolutely spot on. Whew, right, I'm gonna go now. Um, gonna go over to Taipei and um, eat some stinky tofu. Bye. <laughs>